Okay, in this lesson we're going to look at how we could use the NXT uh, programming language to essentially program a robot to navigate autonomously, to stay within a road that is framed by black lines on the left and right side. And also uh, we'll attach a robotic arm to that uh, robot which will be activated by a touch sensor. So to start we're going to ask for a new program and by the way the uh, the commands here the task that we are programming this robot to achieve was also previously programmed in one of our earlier videos on Robolab so you can compare and contrast uh, the programming sequences from Robolab with NXT to get a good idea of uh, how similar or dissimilar the uh, the commands are now our programming tools are over here in the left bar menu bar and you'll notice that there are tabs at the bottom that give us access to an expanded array of programming options but we're gonna stick with the first tab and some of the basic commands and one of the first commands we're gonna use is for motors A and C I'm gonna A being on the left to C being on the right now you notice right now by default it's on CB so I'm gonna check off B because I want motor A and motor C I want it moving forward so this arrow is checked off. We have the power at 75 percent. If we had it at 100 percent, yes it'll go faster, but later on when a light sensor detects light, it may be going so fast that it may just shoot right over the black line. So you might be best off to stay with 75 uh, percent power right now. Also you notice this parameter says the duration is one rotation, meaning as soon as motors A and C are turned on, they're only going to turn once, 360, 360 degrees. Uh, we want to switch that to unlimited. Unlimited because it's just going to keep moving forward until it's going to wait for a condition. And with that in mind, we're going to go down here and we're going to use one of these switches. We're going to drop that in here. Now, with these switches, you'll know right now it's you'll notice right now it's set to a touch sensor by default. But if we go to the parameters, again, notice if I click on the different blocks the different options appear down here. I'm going to change this from touch sensor to light sensor. And we're going to say if the light drops, in other words, you're you're driving along, it's light sensor. Three. Notice we've got it clicked on three, so that's the right light sensor, which is going to control motor C. And you'll notice that what we're saying here is if the light drops by 50 percent. In other words, your, your, your light sensor passes over a piece of black tape, it absorbs uh, some light. It, it only has 50 percent of the amount of reflected light in the room. Uh, so it means that means it's basically sensed black tape. Well then what do you want it to do? It's the right sensor. It, if it's going towards the right and exiting, you're going to want it to veer left. So let's go get another motor command here. And in this case, let's just take B off and let's reverse A. And there we go. So by reversing A the robot will start to turn. Okay and now let's drop in a second switch or wait for condition and we are going to switch this to light sensor again and we'll drop another uh, movement command in here on dark, on the dark line. You'll notice up here it's if you detect bright, here it's if you detect dark. Right now it's set to port 3. We're going to set this one to port 1. So this light sensor will be plugged into port 1. If it dete detects a drop in light, we want C to move in reverse and that will cause it to turn left and get back on track. Duration, we want it to be unlimited. Okay, and next we can also add a touch sensor program. Let's assume we added a robotic arm. So I'm going to leave this on the touch sensor, except we've used ports 1 and ports 3 for the light sensors. And now what we need to do is activate the touch sensor. And so if the touch sensor is pushed, you see that's what this option is here. Here it's if it's pushed and released. We're just going to say only if it's pushed we want what to happen? We want a motor to activate. In this case it will be motor B which will be a robotic arm that can grasp objects. In this case instead of unlimited you could if you want 
leave it on one rotation if one rotation is sufficient to close the robotic arm or you can leave it on unlimited uh, but then you'll have to put in a stop after say one second then put in a stop for the uh, the uh, arm for motor B so maybe one rotation might just be suffice uh, for for our purposes alright now if we activate this program it will to start off motors A and C forward so the motors the robots moving forward if it hits a black line on the right motor A reverses to bring it to make it turn left and get back on the track if it doesn't encounter any black lines it just skips over this see if it remains bright do nothing then you check port 1 if it detects black on the left side it will turn right and get back on the track if there's nothing doesn't detect any black it just skips over this command too and goes to the touch if it detects somebody pushing the touch sensor activate the robotic arm which will turn one rotation and then it gets here to the end and then there's nothing well what we need the robot to do is to continually look at all these commands keep checking your environment because remember the robot is moving and at a certain point it is going to hit a black line so it needs to keep running through this script to make sure that if changes occur in the environment it adapts this is how it's going to operate autonomously and to do that we're going to create a loop so we grab one of these commands here there's our loop we're going to grab all of these command blocks here and drop them inside the loop and then we're going to grab the loop and attach it to the start plug in your robot upload the program and you now have a robot that navigates autonomously and manually can have a robotic arm activated to grab objects.